Hi students, Marsh here. So today we're going to look at trigonometry review. So we're going to get to Sokotoa today. So you're going to want to have a scientific calculator. You need it for this video because you need to check to make sure it's working correctly. And then you're going to want a pen or pencil, the notebook, and that little toolbox we made together with that folded paper. So what was trig used for? Well, it's used to find a distance that could not be measure, measured physically. So what this allowed astronomers to do is measure the distance from here to the moon, which is pretty awesome. I'll tell you the truth, that math was able to do that. So trigonometry, what does it mean? Trigonometry is Greek for measurements of triangles. So we're going to focus on right triangles with sine, cosine, and tangent. So take you back, sine, cosine, tangent. Sine, remember, was the opposite over the hypotenuse of a right triangle. The cosine was the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And the tangent was the opposite over the adjacent side. Now, let's think about the setup. So if I have a bunch of these sets up, so I got sine of A. So I like to think of, I have this man standing here at sine of A, okay? And I need to figure out, I like to label who's O, who's A, who's H. So the opposite side, if you remember, was the side that took the entire triangle. So my guy needs to walk the entire triangle to get to the opposite side, which would be right here, right? So, and the hypotenuse is always across from our right angle. So this is my hypotenuse. So, one left behind, the A, right there. So, remember, sine, if you want to remember, do you remember so ka toa Fun one. So, so, would be my sine, so I have opposite over hypotenuse. No, now I have my O and my H, so all I need to do is put my numbers over each other. So I got 5 over 13. So the sine of A would be 5 over 13. Cosine of A would be A over H, because ka, remember, 12 over 13. And then tangent would be O over A, or 5 over 12. Now, what if I was going from B? So my guy is now standing down here. Well, think of it. My O and my A now are going to swap around because he has to walk a different area. So my O now would be all the way over here and my A would be here. My H, though, is not going to change because it's still the hypotenuse. So my sign of B then would be O over H or 12 over 13. Notice my cosine and my sine of different angles are the same. Cosine of B would be A over H, or 5 over 13, which is the same as my sine of A. And then my tangent of B would be O over A, or 12 over 5. <coughs> now, here's where you need your calculator. Grab it out. I will wait. All right, you need to see what your calculator is doing. You need to check the mode because there's two versions of trig. Sometimes you can use what's known as radians and sometimes degrees. We want degrees for the time being. So you want to see the sine of 45. You want to see if you get 0 0.707. Tangent of 45, you want to see if you get 1. And the cosine of 0, you want to see if you get the, or cosine of 30, excuse me, you want to see if you get 0 0.866. If you don't get those numbers, or you're not sure how to, you better check with me and make sure that your calculator's not in the wrong mode. If it is, talk to me right away when we get into class, and I will change that for you so it does not mess you up. Otherwise, you can get all of these problems correct, but you'll get the, actually the wrong answer because you're in the wrong mode. So please make sure, as we're working on these problems, check with your calculator. Make sure you're getting the same answer as me, okay? Let's use some trig. So I have this angle right here of 24 degrees, and I need to find out about these sides. So I like to label my sides. So this is the O, that's the H, and that's the A, right? So notice I have a side with the, I have something on my O side and something on my A side. So this is going to tell me who do I need to use. Do I need to use my so, 
my ka or my toa? Well, I had something with the o and something with the a. So which one of these had o and a both in them? Well, toa does, right? So I'm going to use tangent for this particular problem. So I'm going to have the tangent of my angle, 24 degrees, is going to be equal to the opposite over the adjacent, so x over 15. Now, let's figure out what's the tangent of 24. So quickly, I'm going to go on my calculator. And I get a really long number. You're going to run around all of these to four decimal places. That way, when you round, it's, or when you multiply further or use it further in your calculations, you're going to still be pretty precise. So if I round to four decimal places, I'm at 4452. And that is x over 15. So I need to solve for x, right? Well, let's multiply both sides by 15. I'll get rid of that division by 15 over here. So I'm going to be left with x. So 15 times that stuff is 6.678. So I know that side of that triangle is 6.678 units. Let's try another one here. So let's label my sides here. I'm at that 42 degrees, so across the way would be my opposite side. Hypotenuse over here, my adjacent over here. So if I look here, I got A and H. A and H. So ka, ka, right? Cosine, because A and H. So my cosine of 42 degrees is equal to my A over my H. Quickly on my calculator, I'm going to do cosine of 42, and I'm going to get 0 0.7431, rounded to four decimal places. Um, multiply over here, looks like we need to multiply by 18. So 18 times that, we get 13.3758. Equal to x. <clears throat> let's try another one. So let's label our sides first. So I got this angle here. So I got my O side, my H side, and my A side. So notice we have a 7 um, O over H. O and H is with sine. So I'm going to have sine of 16 is my O over my H. So sine of 16, quickly on our calculator, is 0 0.2756, right? Now notice, this x is on the bottom. That's kind of different from last time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross multiply, OK? So I'm going to be 0 0.2756x equals 7. So now I can divide by the 2756. That's going to make it a lot easier. Otherwise, I find some students, they divide by 7, and they're ultimately not getting the correct answer. So if you do the cross multiplication, it will be correct. And you should get x equals 0. Point, nope, nope, not 0. Point, 25.3991 for my particular side, my hypotenuse. Now, sometimes you want the angles and not the sides. Sometimes you don't have the angles. So if you need to find the angle of the triangle, when given your sides, you're going to use what's known as the inverse trig ratios. Usually that is like sine of negative 1 or cosine of negative 1 or tangent of negative 1. So basically, these are on your calculator, and each undoes the respected function. So sine inverse undoes sine. We just talked about inverse functions recently. Inverse functions undid each other, right? So like cube undid a cube root, and vice versa. So let's try to find my angle here. So here's the angle in question. We don't know its degrees. So we still can label everything, though. So we got our O, our H, and our A. So my opposite over my hypotenuse, so that would be so, right? So sine of my degrees, we don't know it, but we know it's sine of x, is 7 over 25, right? 
Well, quickly, I did this on my calculator. 7 divided by 25, and I got 0 0.28, right? Now, can't get to the x. It's attached to this sign because it's sine of x. So to undo the sign, I'm going to inverse sign on both sides. So it's inverse sign and inverse sign. <coughs> inverse sign of sign is gone. So I'm left with x. Sine inverse of 0 0.28 is 16.26 degrees. So my angle is 16.26. Now, let's find two, two uh, angles in this triangle. Let's first find angle x. So I'm going to have my O. Here's the H, and there's the A. So I'm going to O over A, right? O over A is tangent. So I'm going to have tangent of x equals 23 over 31. And 23 over 31, did that quickly on my calculator, and I got 0 0.7419. So let's inverse tangent both sides, so I can get rid of tangent on the left. So we're going to get x over here, and the inverse tangent of 0 0.7419 is... 36.572 degrees. Now, let's find y. Um, Got to change my O and my A, right? So I'm still going to use tangent. So tangent of y is 31 over 23, because that's O over A for my y. Um, Oh, 31 over 23 is 1.3478. I'm going to inverse tangent both sides. <coughs> Left with y. And the inverse tangent of 1.3478 is 53.4264 degrees. And that's the end of this video. See you later, Sabres.